everything you've ever wanted to do is doing it. Hey everybody, the hiking chef here, and today I'm doing a 14.6 mile loop posted by Donnie Evans. It's kind of my first day trail running, but right now I'm headed up Echo Mountain Trail to the top of Echo Mountain. From there, I'm taking Castle Canyon Trail to Inspiration Point. From Inspiration Point, I'm gonna take Idle Hour Campground, and from Idle Hour Campground, I'm gonna be heading down to Herringer Flats back to the truck, which is at the Altadena Crest Trail trailhead, which is right down there. And then I came all the way up. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day, beautiful out. The trail's a little bit busy right now, which is kind of nice. I can't wait to show you guys the rest of the trail. So let's go check it out. show you guys something. I parked right to the left of that dam down there and then I took Altadena Crest Trail all the way through up to Echo Mountain Trail. Right now I'm headed up to Echo Mountain. After that it's going to be the Castle Canyon Trail up to Inspiration Point. So let's go get it. May the wind always be at your back and the sun upon your face. to Echo Mountain. Next stop is Castle Canyon up to Inspiration Point. Definitely warming up out here. Beautiful trail, lots of people. From this point on, I probably won't see as many people, maybe a few day hikers, but these are all like hobbyists. So <laughs> no offense to anybody, but from this point on, I'll probably be pretty alone.
right guys, so I'm about halfway up Castle Canyon from Echo Mountain. Right now, I am at a little bit of like a scramble, nothing too difficult, anyone can do this. But um, I came down this before and I know this, I know this part from experience. It's super easy to keep going straight and get off trail. But if you notice these rocks here, we're just gonna keep going up this way. Gets a little dicey, but not too bad. So use these guys here. Super easy, we're back on trail. But as you could see, it could have been a little bit extra added time. Uh, I feel pretty good. I'm just a little concerned with how much water I have. I didn't really hydrate yesterday too much. So I've been kind of going through it. Um, and I just have a little breakfast sandwich and a cliff bar. But I'd say I'm about one third of the way all around this loop. A little backstory on how I discovered this loop. A buddy of mine who I follow on Instagram, Donnie underscore Evans. I'll uh, at him in the description below. He did this loop about two days ago. So I told him I'm gonna do it today. And I woke up a little late, not wanting to go. I thought to myself, like me not wanting to go is the perfect reason why I should go. And Donnie told me that I should start trail running. It's a lot better. So this is my first outing trail running. I have a super light backpack on with just the bare essentials and I'm really enjoying it. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Remember, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you wanna see more hiking and cooking outdoors, please subscribe to my channel. Let's check the rest of this trail out, you guys. enjoyed a gourmet breakfast at Inspiration Point. And now I'm headed to Idle Hour Trail Camp. And from there, the rest of the way is gonna be sort of downhill, maybe a little bit of an uphill part uh, before Herringer Flats. I'm pretty stoked I made it up to Inspiration Point. It was really busy up there, if you guys could tell. You know, everyone's out, showing out, having a good time. And I'm out here solo. But it's all good. All right, guys, I don't really know where I'm going, so I'm gonna try to pay attention here. Uh, let's go check it out. Any sound is now possible. Any combination of sounds is now possible.
my bait is correct from Donnie. This should be Eaton Creek, and I'm getting pretty close to Idle Hour Campground. Really beautiful down here, you guys. Plenty of water, too, for a backpacking trip. It's gorgeous, check it out. I am gassed right now. I ran out of water about two miles back. Uh, got no snacks left. I ended up taking the wrong turn and started heading up uh, Wilson Toll Road and uh, it added about two miles onto my trek. I'm luckily almost to the truck. I'll see you guys when I get there. guys I made it back to the truck it's been a long day I'm super excited to be back that that hike was beautiful I did a lot of trail running today and I would definitely give it a 4.2 out of 5 stars uh, definitely check it out if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and if you want to see more hiking and cooking outdoors please subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys next week <laughs>